All right, we're going to get started. We are going to be working on a tear tray tonight. Now, there is a video in my YouTube channel that goes over how to make one of these. This is actually, let me take some of this off. This is actually just some baking pans from the thrift store, along with a candlestick. This was a base of a couch foot. I found a bunch of these. They were just sitting on a shelf um, and a finial. And all you have to do is drill down the middle and put your special screws in there. And I, like I said, in the video, it shows you how to do all that. I'm just removing this to show you. See? It's very easy to make. I have a couple that I pre-made that I'm going to stick in my Etsy shop in case anybody doesn't want to make them. But that's what it is. Just two baking pans sprayed. In fact, this one says Duncan Hines on it. <laughs> I love making something out of nothing. And then like I have one over here. But what I'm going to be doing is once a week, a couple times a month, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be making items for the uh, tear trays. All right. And I mean, some really cute stuff. Like I have now a file with just small cutting boards in it. So I'm going to show you just how to decorate one of these. I'm also going to be making small gnomes. Not like my big ones. These don't fit in here so well because they're wider. So I'm going to be making small holiday gnomes to go with the theme. Nobody's ready to say hello. Hi, Julie. How are you? So they'll all be available soon in my Etsy store. I have some boxwood in here. I love using this this time of year. Um, you can use this for Valentine's Day. You can use this from now until, you know, the summer. Um, boxwood is just, it almost looks like clover. So using it for St. Patrick's Day is really good too. I also have these that are going to be available in my Etsy store. These are little milk bottles. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says dairy and there's a cow on it. Um, they're going to be available because I am going to do a whole farmhouse display like farm, you know um, Decorating ideas for farmhouse design All right now with this When you're doing one of these you basically want to stick to only a, a, a Small amount of colors. You don't want to overwhelm everybody so with this one I chose red and pink and white and gray and black and then I have some brown and then of course we have the green okay um, so what we're gonna do I have a few projects we're gonna work on one of the projects was the big thing right now are those paper straws okay I did not have a chance to get out and get them because we're pretty much staying put so I took some stainless steel straws that I had with some scrapbook paper and I just rolled it around it to make it look like they were the paper straws. But if you come across them, they're a great way to decorate this. Most people put this on their counter or in the middle of their table, their kitchen table, their dining room table. Um, it's a really simple little way to decorate for the holiday. Okay. I also made some little signs. Now I have um, a CNC machine coming tomorrow. It's to be delivered. So I'm going to be cutting out all kinds of little shapes and things, miniatures, etc. Um, this one has even ridges in it. So there's going to be a lot of new little items in my shop. 
This was one I made today that just has X's and O's on it. Okay. I also made one today that says hugs and kisses. Now, what we're going to work on, and, and keep in mind, if you're going to be if you're going to be doing tear trays in your home, just watch out for little things. Little things that you know you'll be able to build on and, and use in your tray. So I'm just going to move that off to the side there. Oh, and I forgot to tell her. Oh, thank you, Julie. I forgot to tell everybody the other night when I was on Friday night for the marathon, I found these totes on Walmart's website. They're supposedly a four gallon tote. They're great for shelves because you can pull them in and out. Um, they come in six colors, red, purple, green, blue, yellow, and I think there's one more, probably pink. Now they're in there on their website. They're listed in one place for $17.86 and in another place for 20 some dollars. So I, I stocked up on these because they're nice for storing florals and things like that in there. Um, so just thought I'd share that with you. One of the things they use in the uh, tear trays a lot are felted beads. Now I purchased these beads on Etsy. I actually bought like a Christmas array of colors because I knew that I'd be decorating this for Valentine's Day and for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just gonna show you how to make one of those. And then we're gonna make the little tassel that goes on the end. Okay. <clears throat> this thing was sticking to me today, something fierce. But I wanted to get it started. I don't know about you, but my hands are really dry this year. All right. So I got this heavy duty thread and we're just gonna go ahead and put all these on here. Nobody feels like talking tonight. What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? Julie said hi. Doesn't anybody want to say hi to Julie? Come on, don't be shy. We don't bite. Or maybe you're watching from work and you're not supposed to be. <laughs> hey, Susan. If y'all wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. These balls are one inch. We're working on a tear tray tonight. Oh, burr, that sounds cold, Julie. So we're making the felted chain that's gonna kind of cascade down off the tray. Hi, Nanny Dot. Nanny Dot's on, she's saying hi. We got some bashful ones tonight, they don't wanna talk. Or maybe they're sleeping. Wouldn't mind sharing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, Julie. Wait till you see this when we're done. You are going to love it. I should have done most of this ahead of time, but I need a better needle. There, Susan's saying hi. Nobody wants to talk to us tonight. Everybody's quiet. Hi, Helen, welcome. Boy, did I ship out the gnomes today. Woo! And every time I got a shipment done, another order came in. I was so ready to get up and do all that shipping this morning and then realized the post office was closed. So that didn't help. Julie said it's snowing where she's at. 
wasn't quite in the middle. Have any of you um, decorated with tear trays yet? Anybody like them? Has anybody attempted to make one? I knew that was going to happen. I had to use my needle with the big eye because there's no way in heck I'd be able to thread a little needle. <laughs> oh, yuck. Better you than me. Don't send it this way. We don't want it, Julie. Really got to be careful not to put that needle through your finger. I'll have to look and find the lady on Etsy that I bought these off of because she was really reasonable. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay, Susan. At least everybody can see these. They're not real tiny. All right, I'm going to snip it here, but I'm going to put the red on the other end. Like I said, I should put some hand cream on. Everything's sticking to me tonight. you. Ugh. All right. So see, you kind of want it, your, um, your, kind of want it on, but then off the tear tray. So you kind of want to cascade down. So let's go ahead and make our tassel. Tassel, tassel. There you are. All right. So what I have here, this is the scraper I use for my, um, my scan and cut to apply any kind of vinyl to what I'm working on. So we're just going to, oh, wait a minute. We don't want to do that. We want to lay a piece of this across here, okay? Then we're gonna wrap. But we gotta kinda keep that over here. There we go. Because we're gonna need that to tie the top. Let's keep, make sure we keep that over there. And these work kinda nice because they have this little indent in the middle that you can work in between. Now, of course, the more you wind, the thicker your, your tassel, tassel is gonna be. Hey, Missy, welcome. We're doing a gnome inspired tear tray. And we just made a felted chain. And now, we are making the tassels for the end. I think that's enough. So what we're going to do, that one piece of yarn that we laid across the top, we're going to use this to tie it off. And we're going to tie it tight. Okay. Then going to try and even this out here and here. Then you can take your scissors down to the bottom because of the groove on this. It's kind of hard. There we go. All right. So now, 
we're going to need another piece of yarn because we're going to tie it off here. There's my... I want to keep that one piece out. So let's pull this down again. If y'all wouldn't mind sprinkling for me, I'd really appreciate it. For those just joining, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Trim this, and then we'll just cut at the bottom, we'll make it straight all the way across. Yes, I did, and I do have a video on how to make it. It's made with cake pans, a finial, a candlestick, and some furniture feet that I found. And I sprayed it gray. I do have a few that I made last year. Um, kind of farmhouse looking. They're a little bit rustic. Which I'm going to put those on Etsy. It's very easy to take it apart and lay it and chip it. So, And now I'm going to be making some gnomes that are the size of to fit the tear tray. Because the big, bigger ones that I make are too wide. They don't fit in the tray. So I'll be making some smaller ones. Alright, let's finish up our little thing here. My fingers are sticking to it. So, let's see how we can do this. Tear trays are very, very popular. So you need to start thinking about them. If you like to decorate country or decorate a small area for um, a holiday, come on now. It's not cooperating. Should have incorporated this probably in the top before I cut it. So when I'm pulling this, it's pulling that end. There. Now let's try it. I think I like my tassel, tassel, a little shorter. I'll call this the skirt. Want it a little shorter. There we go. And then I think I'll just make this into a bow here. I wanted to do a red and white one, but I could not find my red yarn to save my life. So that's why I put the red balls on the end. That would look pretty. Ooh. My machine is coming tomorrow, so I'm so excited. So get ready, gals, because there's going to be a lot of new, new product coming out. All right. Now we need one piece to lay across here like we did before. I'm actually using the scraper to my um, scanning cut, which is like a Cricut to wrap it around. You could use a piece of cardboard, but I had this available to me, so. Now, acting all thumbs. I love primitive. You decorate like I do. All right, we're gonna get smart here. We're gonna tape this here and tape this here. So I'm gonna sit there and fuss with it. And then we will do this. So we're sticking in those grooves there. 
And we're just going to keep winding, winding. Don't want my yarn to go flying, but it's going to. Now with my little machine, I went ahead and we made some little cutting boards today. They use these on the tier trays a lot. So I'm going to make one of these interchangeable, okay? I'm going to actually, I made this little gnome ornament today that says love. So I'm actually going to tie that to the top of the cutting board. So I'm going to be able to, next holiday, change out this ornament to something different. Okay. I'm going to make it versatile. Yeah, you could, Helen. If it's sturdy enough. It really needs to be sturdy. You could use a credit card. All right, I'm just pulling off the tape so we can tie it off at the top like we did the last one. Just tying it together at the top. Then we're going to cut down here at the bottom. Yeah, you really want something sturdy like that. So. When you have it open, it looks like this. So while I have it open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it. I think that's the better way to do it after I get it untangled. I'm going to attach it to the top here. I think it's easier to do it that way than the way I did it the last time. And I got a few more projects here we're going to do. Because I want you guys to see how it's done. Because I think you're going to like what's coming up there. Now I tied it really tight to that. That's an easier way to do it than the way I just did it. So I'm going to tie it again and I'm going to knot it. This string is like, ugh. It is sticking to my fingers because my fingers are so dry right now. Thank you, Levon. We are making a Valentine tear tray. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, a lot of these items are going to be available in my shop and my new big CNC machine comes tomorrow so we're going to be cutting a lot of unique items coming up so I'm excited thanks for sprinkling okay There's that. So we want to tie it off there. Then we're going to take it. I'm going to trim it like we did the other one. So there we go. We got our felted ball chain. And like I said, this is how they do it. I just want to make sure you can see this. They usually stretch it out over here and then they let it hang down the side. That's why I use this really sturdy um, thread because I want it to hold up. Yay! All right, so there's one project, all right? We'll keep that close by. And then I showed you the how I did my straws, all right? So that's gonna go on the top shelf. There we go. Now, I made this little kisses block. 
think I'm going to put it, I'm trying to stay with the colors that I have on the Noom. All right. All right. Now I'm going to be making these now, these little cutting boards. And these work great for these tear trays. They're very popular. So because I want to reuse this for the next holiday, I made this little ornament that we're going to tie to this board and then let it sit up here to hold it, okay? So I'm going to take some ribbon. So we're going to use this tier, this uh, little cutting board several times. So, oh my gosh, they have them with little knives, fork, and spoons on them. It is so sweet. All right. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it around, but then I'm going to come back around because I want to put a bow in the front. So I want my bow to be a little bigger. There we go. Now this was the only holiday colored ribbon that I had, but I thought it would look cute. So you'll be able to find the little cutting boards in my shop. I haven't put them on yet, so I'm hoping to get them on by tomorrow. That's if the new orders stop coming. There. I wish I had like some other ribbon I could have used, but then that look cute. So that ornament is going to be in there. Let me see here. Let's turn this around so we don't see the cow. And I'm going to lean that up against here. Because I think that's a nice contrast too in color there. There we go. We also have a little sign that says hugs and kisses that I made that's going to be in my shop. Hi, Jeanette. So that's going to go down at the bottom. Now, this here, you could even put, look, little votive candles. I actually took some ribbon and just covered the outside of a plain one. Um, you can look in any thrift stores and get little stuff. This was like 50 cents. It's just... What you do is you just kind of stack stuff in here, and then at the end, go back and stick some greenery in there. All right, now I'm going to make this little chain that goes across the front. I actually made these little hearts today. So I thought I would do, do it like that. And then on my Cricut, I printed out the word love. No problem. So, we're going to put a letter on each one of these hearts. That's what this is for. I don't know if any of you have ever worked with a Cricut, but this is trans, this is, um, oh, what do they call this? Transfer paper. No, that's not what it's called. But see what you do is you rub it till it comes off. And then you take it and you transfer it to this. Sticking to me again. And I meant to bring the clear up so I could see what I was doing. And then you transfer it. Oh, thank you. Is that you, Christine? From Percocy. <laughs> Transfer tape. There you go, Cheryl. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it wasn't transfer paper. And I had this paper. This I thought was so neat. I don't know if here I still have some over here. Isn't that cool? But I'll tell you what, when you cut on this paper, it is so hard to find your letters. Christina is watching from Percocy. 
she bought some of my gnomes and I have to show you this okay these this is like one of the kits that Christina she just bought two kits off me this is actually a sweater that I cut up for the for my Valentine's gnome I found this sweater and it had the hearts on it so you don't always have to use fabric you can use a sweater everybody gets rid of holiday sweaters so check that out online or in your local thrift store all right now we're gonna do the letter O I thought I'd stagger them and do red pink red pink always got to be one stubborn end to it okay Christina's got some gnomes coming her way I'll tell you what I'm gnomed out today <laughs> then I got all everything wrapped up and there was another bumblebee gnome order in I'm like oh my gosh I love it that everybody's loving them I use I reuse my transfer tape a lot until it doesn't stick or pick up anymore. All right. There's the V. Oh, this looks metallic too. It's got a little silver running through it. Everybody say hi to Christina. She's a crafter. And I have a new sign to show you tonight. Anybody buying my gnomes for me, please know that my gnomes have a really good um, this is like a Mongolian fur, and it sheds in the beginning. So if you get one of the gnomes and it keeps shedding, just use um, a lint brush to get it off. My place is not hairy. I'm not sending you an item that has been sleeping with the dogs. It's the hair from the beard. It flakes. It uh, just sheds for a while until it settles in. Now these hearts will also be available in my shop. If anybody wants, I can even include the lettering if you don't have a Cricut. Um, what we have coming up. We had a little mishap with one of them today. I actually have a bunch of um, shamrocks coming up too because we're going to spell out the word lucky. All right. So there's a lot of new items coming up. All right, now I have this twine. And let's see, I gotta look at this to see where we can attach this. Because we kind of want it to hang down in front, but we don't want it to, to visually kill the front there. You know what I mean, like have it cover up what's in the lower level. So, there we go. Just move some stuff out of the way here. Until that heats up. It should be momentarily. Oh. And I have a new sign to show you. 
Actually, it's a new sign, but it's in um, two finishes. You have it in gray or you have it in tan. Yes, they are. That and red truck. <laughs> there you go. It's faith with a nice cross in the middle. I also have some gems from the Dollar Tree that I can sprinkle around in here too. Some red gems. All right, let's space this out a little. I thought I'd just glue it to the back. And Helen, thank you. Yeah, I think it's going to look good. And I kind of like the paper because I put a, a gray background on this one today. So I think it kind of fits in with the whole color scheme. And like I said, we're using the, um, the cutting board and we're attaching that ornament to it so we can remove it for the next holiday. So we're, we're tr I'm trying to make all the attachments versatile where you can just keep swapping them out. Now, of course, the signs, I can't do that, but. I should be using my little hot glue finger thingies so I do not burn myself because I haven't had a chance to replenish my um, aloe there. I'm thinking of starting like a little kit for the month, a little holiday kit. Like um, we could do a felted ball, we could do like the, the um, Four leaf clovers. I just thought if if you all thought that would be a good idea, we'd stick to something that just a little kit, nothing too expensive, just something that you could craft each month. Anybody have any ideas on that? Would you like that? These are awesome because you cannot burn your finger with these. And look, you can just stick your finger right in it. I don't even feel it. And for those that don't have a Cricut, I could include the letters or the string. Just some little, little craft activity. Just a little decoration for your home. let it soak in there a little bit and if you kind of feel this is too stark what I thought we could do where's my red we can go ahead and put this ribbon all around the outside doesn't that look cute? Let's do that. I know, right? I just thought just something little. Do you want to do like, I mean, the machine I have is going to be able to cut. Well, it's going to be like 36 by 36, the cut area. The cut area I've been working with now is like 7 by 8 or no, 7 by 10. So it's really small. So I thought this would be, I mean, um, I've already got in the works chickens. Um, there's going to be some really cool stuff. So if you think you would be interested, thank you, hon. I just thought something little, just once a month. And what I could do is talk about it on my live, show you how to do it, and then take orders. Because I think I want to limit how many we're going to have going out. 
because um, we have a, f doesn't that look cute? That looks so farmhouse too. I kind of like that. I like it better than I did the pink. <laughs> that pink was just too much. And that just looks so much better. All right, I'll work on that then. I'll work on the little kits. If that's something you think you would enjoy. Just something for the holiday each time. My little um, tear tray gnomes are going to be available too for each holiday. Oh my gosh, this is just, look at that. That is just so cute. This is actually a little sign that I made that's attached to the wood. I like this better than the pink. I want to glue this down so it doesn't interfere with that. If you do a lot of hot gluing, boy, you really need to get these fingers. They are awesome. Look at that. Doesn't that look cute? Then if we wanted to go just a little bit more you could even attach a little bow in the corner if you wanted. These tear trays are so simple to make. All you need is a drill, a wooden candlestick or rod for the middle, some kind of little finial for up top, and a little foot of some kind for the bottom. I think this piece is too small. But let's see. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look cute? I like that. Let's. Where's the other one? X's and O's. I like this better on the bottom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is too cute. Can you all see it? We could do it either way. I think a purchase on demand, like I can indicate that it's out, it's available in the Etsy shop, there's so many there or whatever. Now we got to figure out how, oh, I think I can use the hole on the baking pan to kind of hang this from here. Let's see. Now it's got to go around this way. All right, I'm not liking hanging that. <laughs> So, let's do this. Let's go ahead, and I think we're going to put that up there. And then with this, I think we're just going to lay this in here like that. I think I have to use lighter, um, make this out of fabric, stiffer fabric. So I think it'd be cute just like this. What do you think? Just like that. And then we got our X's and O's. So let's see if we can kind of, it's kind of hard to decorate this from the back. Let me see if we need some of this. Yep. All right, we're gonna cover this with this, right? There we go. It's kind of
kind of hard. I should, maybe I'm going to have to, because I'm going to be doing these more often. Maybe I'm going to have to start um, bringing the camera down some. I changed my room around and I put the camera up in its old spot and I think it's too high now. So I think we need to bring it down some. I mean, I can just go ahead and say, everybody, you know, subscription is out for such and such after I show it. Just a little project. Oh, where do you see what I have planned for the B one? OMG. And the chicken one. And they're all going to be unique items. Hand cut by us. I say us because my husband's getting involved now. Yeah, I kind of like that that's just kind of laying in there like that. There we go. Can you all see that now? All right, we'll put this up in here. And then look, when you start adding some greenery in there, Look at the, how that punches that up. I actually had this for another project. There we go. It just gives it a little punch. Let me move this. There we go. Thanks, Jeanette. Okay, let me... Get a peek here. Oh, getting some fuzz on our guy here. Everything sticks to that fur. Let me tell you. All right, so I'm going to take a little piece of this off because I want to put a little here in the front. You can also use like the cut up paper that you would put in baskets. From the Dollar Tree, that always looks good. The brown looks really good. See how that looks now? All right, now let's work on the bottom. So with this, I think we're going to put some in it. Got everything hanging from me. There we go. So you want to keep your eye out for little votives, little little baskets, things like that that you can stick in here. Let's do this too. Let's put one of these in the middle here. Doesn't that look cute in there? There's no rules to this. You just got to have a little bit of creativity to kind of stack stuff around. Let's put some, let's put some jewels in there. These red jewels. Look at that. Look at how sparkly that looks. Red diamonds. And then we can use that to hold that up. You could if you wanted to even just sprinkle these in the bottom. All right. Um, now we can get some more greenery in here. And then we can just, you could just lay this in front or you can hang it over from here, like that. I need more boxwood, but I don't have any more. Look at this. In and amongst the straws. I didn't have any paper straws, so I actually coated those with scrapbooking paper. 
Let me see what I have in greenery because it needs more. Um, think this would look good. Oh, this might. I have some lambs here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this fern in the back here. Needs to be a little shorter. can even put this back here too. Let's see. I think sprinkling some of these in here. I think I have more in the tube. Yes. You can even use um, instead of You can even use wooden balls instead of the felted balls. You don't have to get the felted balls. But that, wouldn't that look cute on any table holiday? What do you think? Can you see it okay? The little cutting boards will be available in rectangle, square, circle, um, with or without like the cuts in them. So they'll be available too. What do you think? Any comments? We could even wrap some of this around the top of the uh, milk bottle. I think that would look cute. Thank you. Now, what out of all that you saw tonight would you like to see in my shop? I kind of want to get an idea of what you all are looking for. And this one's going to go great for the farmhouse one that we're doing. So it already has a cow on the bottle. So that's going to be available with the farmhouse. See, doesn't that look better? Oh, I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Missy. Do you kind of like the tear tray idea? Is it something you want to see me do more of? I'm just trying to get a feel for what you guys like. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do one for kind of each holiday, each occasion, each season. They're so easy to decorate and they're just so unique, each one. There we got our little love in there. What do you think? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love gnomes too, for sure. These are extremely popular right now. <coughs> I think because of the whole farmhouse decorating ideas, I think that's why it is. But I can make some anything up that you see here. There's a string here. Let me trim that. I can do one on St. Patty's too. I know, right, Christina? And this 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 is so easy to make. That's why I thought it'd be so cute. Like, I know I'm going to be selling the gnomes to fit the tear trays. 
because you know me and my gnomes, right? I got gnomes everywhere. These were the ones, look, there's, these are Nordic ones here, and these are the regular ones, um, plus these. Oh, I can show you my signs. Every time I do a sign, I try to match it to something. Like these signs here come in the tan or the brown, and they match my Blockhead series. See? Then my Leprechaun Gnome here. He matches the sign. Um, what else we got? Oh, did you see this one? This one's my favorite. It almost looks like that heart is jumping off the sign, doesn't it? Then we've got this one. Love is in the air. And I can personalize it with your name at the Land Greaves is what I put on ours. Well, welcome, Pat. Where are you watching from? This is called a tear tray. Tear trays are extremely popular right now. It's kind of like a farmhouse way of decorating. So I was just showing you how to do like a Valentine's tear tray. Um, a lot of these items I'm going to be selling from now on, like the small cutting boards that was an ornament that I made into a gnome uh, love ornament that we put on the front of there. We made this little um, chain. Then we got love is sweet. I did this the other week. Yes. Yes, I make all the signs. Then we've got this gnome. And this sign comes in either a rectangle or circle. And then this is the one Missy just bought. She loved that snowman. And then I thought we could do one with cows, chickens, farmhouse. Um, we're going to be doing a bee one, too, with a bee gnome and then all bee accessories to go with it. There's two different uh, Valentine B signs. I make personalized ones. I make license plates. I make the little signs, big signs, you name it. And now I'm getting my CNC machine and look out. My poor hubby is going to be busy. Did you all see my bunny, my blockhead bunny? I have it in this color and then gray with pink um, polka dots. And then we have, and this would be a cute one to do because he would fit real nice in there. Do one with the, um, I have a little sign that a customer requested. She wanted a Easter recipe. So I made a peanut butter egg recipe on a sign, and then these are the little attachments that go with it to go into the wreath. But we could do these in here. So we could do a whole bunny one. You don't need it, Cheryl. I got your back. <laughs> I do enough thinking for both of us. I don't sleep, I think. I design in the wee hours. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> I've been doing so much lately that I have not organized my bookkeeping, and it's really bad. And I think I'm using this so I don't have to do that, <laughs> which is really bad. I did put at the top of the comments, I put a link to my Etsy shop. I will get my gnome in there and some of these signs in there. 
but um, just keep an eye out for the little cutting boards and the little utensils and all the new things that are coming up. All the little shapes. We'll have shamrocks coming up. So maybe I'll make a little um, shamrock or a leprechaun for the uh, shamrock one. And I'll come up with a little, little kit for that one. They can come painted or unpainted. You can paint them yourself. I'll, you know, I'll do it ahead of time so I can direct you on how to do it. And then um, it's up to you on how you want to play around with it. There you go. That's a great idea, Jeanette. Right? That is so true. So true. All right. I think we're done for tonight. I'll be on Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So pop on. I hope to see you there. And don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure between now and then, I'll come up with something. Well, you can always check. Usually it has that little registered mark. And that should tell you whether it's copyrighted or not. You know, see, it's still shedding. All right, I'm going to sign off. And I hope you all have a great evening. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Be careful. And I'll see you Wednesday. All right, thank you.